back to school. I can't believe it. It usually takes a week or two to get back in that routine. And managing screen time can help with that transition. We have Sarah Whirl Kimmel from Family Tech here with suggestions for taking back control of screen time for back to school. And Sarah, this is probably the most challenging thing that we have to deal with, screen time and your kids. How much time is okay time? Absolutely. And Everyone wants me to give them a specific number, and I really don't ever say a specific number because every kid is different, every family is different, and so what I usually like to do is set a very low number to begin with, and then they can request additional time, and when they check in with you to say, you know, so I set DART with a half an hour or an hour, and then when that's up, they come up to me and they say, hey, I want some more time. Okay, have you done your chores? Have you done your homework? Have you done this and this and this and gone outside? And then as they check in in those occasional intervals, then they can have more time. I was just saying to you right before we launched in, it's a daily struggle in my house because sometimes the easiest thing you can do, right, is here, watch another YouTube video. But when you're ready for it to be done, then the struggle begins. So how else can we get in control of that? Yeah, so every device really has its own built-in time management controls. So with Apple devices, you have screen time, and that is located just right in the Apple settings itself. And you can set up time limits for every device. You know, Microsoft has has Microsoft Family Safety, Android has Google Family Link. So every device has specific controls that you can set for the device itself. Even game consoles, Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, they all have built-in controls that you can create. Okay, so does that include Chromebooks? You know, when they're issued from school and they're the ones setting the time limit, can you go back in or how can you ensure they're using it just for homework. Right, so that's the really difficult part because with a school-issued Chromebook, you don't have any control over that on-device screen time. And so with a school-issued Chromebook, you have to set things on the Wi-Fi itself. So a lot of Wi-Fi routers these days have parental controls built right into them. So you can say this device can only be online for an hour a day, or this device gets shut off at this time every single day, and then there's no more internet connection to those devices. So my favorite Wi-Fi router that does that is the Griffin and it has parental controls built right in. You know, there's other ones, Eero and Google. They all have these kind of really granular controls where you can set time limits for the internet for specific devices. I didn't know that. That's <laughs> game changing because it's not just that device. What if you just want to shut it down for the rest of the day? Totally. I didn't know any of that either. And I also didn't know you could do that with the Switch. Oh boy, things are changing in my house today. Yeah, so the Nintendo Switch, there's a parental control app that you just download and you can set time limits right there and it goes straight to the Switch. Any other uh, filters uh, we can use out there to really monitor the content that kids are accessing? Yeah, so especially with phones, you want to be able to monitor what's going on. What, what are they messaging? Is there anything concerning? So my favorite application is called Bark. And what that does, it will really flag messages that they're being sent or received. Some in, on Android devices, it can flag messages inside Snapchat, inside Instagram, inside Discord. And so you're being able to get alerts onto anything that's concerning. So if they are looking up drugs or if they're talking about self-harm or anything like that, you'll get flagged for that and it will give you a little snippet of what was being concerned. And that really allows them to have a little bit of privacy so that you're not getting a huge report of like everything that they're doing but they can go through that and um, you get flagged and you say oh hey I got flagged for violence you know what were you talking about here give give me a little more context and then you can have that conversation with your child when you've got that information. Sarah, such great insight. Thank you so much. With Family Tech, thank you so much. Now, coming up, um, we'll definitely put that on our website oh, for sure. as well. All right, we are hitting the pavement to help fight Alzheimer's here in Utah. See where a walk to end Alzheimer's is coming up near you. And coming up next, a big step to help save lives in time, sensitive health emergencies. See how Utah is expanding CPR training across the state.